we are what we like to consider a family-oriented school. What makes it great is uh, I, I think the options that we make available for students. 90% of our classrooms are conducted by an inclusionary model, which means they're a special ed teacher as well as a regular ed teacher in that classroom. So for our ninth and 10th graders to assist them with that transition uh, in high school, we provide those additional supports. The teachers and the staff, like we have a very great connection with everybody here. All the teachers, like you can actually like talk to them about any problems. And, like they, they, they can tell when there's something wrong with you when, it, when you're not you. The teachers that I have, they're really nice. They're understanding. You know, they definitely help you when it comes down to it. We have an early college program where we uh, partner with Tri-C, where students uh, attend Tri-C for three years, um, and then they can graduate with an associate's degree. So a couple of programs, uh, our culinary arts department is doing a great job. And additionally to that, we have our pre-engineering program, Project Lead the Way, and then we are one of two schools in the state that has an urban agriculture program. So we have a lot of students that's, uh, that's starting to get involved with that program as well. Agriculture, we go to different schools, we visit farms, and we get to see like what our lives could be if we go into that career. And so I got to work on a computer, and it was my first time ever working with engineering. So I'm building a house right now. Of course, we have a very strong athletic program. Everyone knows of uh, Jesse Owens and, and Harrison Dillard, who uh, did great things in regards to, uh, to track and field. But, uh, but most recently, uh, we're very proud that our, our uh, alumni, Markel Johnson, who uh, went on to play basketball at, at NC State. Coming from somewhere with so many great people, I want to follow in that legacy. I want one day the students to be talking about, oh, Marticia went to this school. Scared pride is, is something, obviously, that that has uh, resonated in this building for a very long time. A lot of times when you when you hear us have conversations, you'll hear myself, teachers, as well as other staff members calling the scholars their children. Because it's one thing that we believe in is that we like to treat our scholars as if they were our own.